Come on, get up. We're going to be late for school. And that would not be the first time this happens. My little wonder, who has just turned seven, is still in bed and refuses to get up and get ready for school. I don't want to get up. School is stupid. They're all a pain. Why do I have to go to school? It's not fair. He stared at me, challenging me, waiting for my reaction. While I feel my blood rising, I wonder, what should I do? If I beat him when I'm angry, it could be abusive. But if I ignore him, it does not work either. In fact, it seems to encourage him. How come I don't have an easy answer? I'm a full grown man. I drive a car. I know how to repair a door handle, how to change a tire, how to negotiate a contract. But I feel helpless, frustrated and overwhelmed when my kid looks defiantly and tells me, I don't want to, so what? My feeling of helplessness and despair is probably familiar to you when your child becomes defiant. What should you do? I'd like to share some principles that have helped me and I hope they will help you too. First of all, you need to correctly identify the situation. Your child's behavior can be considered defiant if from the start he or she refuses to agree or follow the simplest of requests from you. Or, or when they become easily frustrated or annoyed in their relationship with friends or with their family. In addition, he or she becomes disrespectful toward adults and develops a pattern of blaming others for his or her mistakes. Secondly, once you've correctly identified the problem, then you need to try to understand what's actually happening in your child's mind when he or she chooses to challenge you. In this situation, he or she is very likely to react emotionally because he's caught in the trap of making wrong decisions. In our illustration, when the child did not want to go to school, he mistakenly labeled it as an injustice. He has developed the perception of you as the powerful person who makes you do things he doesn't want to do, particularly because he does not enjoy doing them. The thought that he is forced to do what he does not like produces a negative emotion and once this incorrect reasoning takes over, the child feels that they don't have to comply with what they're being asked or told to do. In such situations, stay calm. Explain to him or her what you're asking of them and why and what will be the consequences of their choice to not follow the rules. Be consistent and apply the consequences without hesitation. Otherwise, indirectly, you will teach him or her that his or her decisions have no consequences. Your answer should not be aggressive. On the contrary, you can say something like, every one of us has a responsibility, even if there are times when we don't like them. School is your responsibility. Starting tonight, you will have to go to bed an hour earlier. Evidently, you need more rest. But right now, you need to get up. That evening, take some time to talk with your child about what happened that morning. This morning, you were not ready on time. Can you tell me what you understand about what took place? It's important for a parent to look at life through their child's eyes because the way we behave is the result of the lenses through which we look at life. In fact, instead of getting into a struggle for power and control with my child, I invited them into a relationship because the most powerful ally we have as we try to foster better child's behavior is the relationship I develop with them. Their defiant attitude may not fade away for some time. But if you choose to ignore your child's behavior, hoping that somehow things will work out, there is no guarantee that it will go away on its own either. At the same time, if you lack firmness 
you may actually prolong this stage in your child's life, and as a result, he or she may have more difficulties later in life. Ultimately, this is your responsibility, and your efforts will be rewarded. If you have a question that wasn't addressed, let us know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell below. See you next time.